Good evening, people. Uh, I've been struggling a bit and uh, trying to put up everything in order. I don't know what has been going on. Um, <clears throat> that's why I came a little bit late. There's sure it's been a while since when we we had the, a live discussion over what is pertaining in our country and what is going on. So, if you are able to hear me clearly, you are able to get the sound and the see me properly. You can uh, just give a sign that you know the sound is good. Then we'll proceed to a couple number of issues that uh, we will start dealing with in a few minutes' time. Um, I think uh, it's a very important topic that we are going to discuss today. Um, the topic borders on what is going on in our country, Zambia, especially as we prepare for the 2021 uh, general elections. We feel there are so many things that are going on, and uh, it's the high time that uh, we start talking about these issues. Uh, looking at the pace the PF government is driving national affairs, um, we need to talk, we need to discuss, we need to find a solution to the welfare of our country. So if you have a chance you are here, please can you invite other colleagues, other friends you can share with other people so that uh, we can discuss and citizens can be informed of what is going on in our country. Because you can only make a wise decision for the future of our country when you are given the right and correct information of which some of us we feel the patriotic front government under the leadership of Mr. Eddie Garungu they are hiding so much information to, to you the people of Zambia and the, which is very dangerous to the welfare of the country so we are streaming live from Namwara and we just hope uh, other parts of the country are doing well. Here in Namwara we are pretty well and uh, we thank God we are surviving. So uh, let's keep on inviting others to join us so that we can proceed as soon as possible in addressing some of these key issues that we feel uh, we need to deal with. Just in the next maybe two, three minutes, uh, we'll be beginning our key issues that uh, we are going to talk about today. And uh, we have to find the solutions to the future of our country. It is we, the people of Zambia, who can only save the interests of the, the country. It is when we, the people of Zambia, know that our country is not moving in the right direction. That's when we can know that we need to do something for our country. Thank you. Um, fellow countrymen and women, uh, as I address the country today, I want to state that um, I'm one of the citizens of the Republic of Zambia who is seriously concerned about what is going on in our country. You are all aware that um, Zambia has a Republican constitution and the constitution has to be respected by anyone, not even a president 
is supposed to be above the constitution of Zambia. When we come to the case of our country today, it's a sad story that uh, the people who are supposed to protect these institutions, they are using them against the people of Zambia. There is a lot of issues that uh, are going on in the country that uh, we few majority citizens have got no idea of what uh, the people they are thinking they are there to save the interests of the people of Zambia are doing or rather are planning against the people of Zambia. And uh, I hope this message will find Mr. Eddie Garungu, Mr. Esa Ochuru, Mr. Patrick Shindano, Mrs. Aileen Mambirima, Mr. Kakoma Kanganja, and Mr. Bonica Peso, Mr. Given Rubinda, uh, Ms. Dora Siria, uh, Home Affairs Minister, Mr. Stephen Campiongo. And uh, all the people in PF who have turned against the people of Zambia. I'm addressing this message to the people of Zambia for the PF because they know already what I'm going to talk about. Because we know what they are planning. But this is just a reminder that the Zambian people at the end of the day who have to decide what they want for Zambia. We have serious problems following a, our, as we go towards the general elections in 2021, federal country men and women. The PF government have decided to impose themselves against the people of Zambia. I'm going to talk about what the Electoral Commission of Zambia is doing today and what they have planned ahead of 2021 general elections. As we are talking today, there is no general election that the people of Zambia should expect as long as we are going to allow what the Electoral Commission of Zambia they are doing today. You can go in numbers, you can do the online uh, re voters registration, but as long as we, the people of Zambia, who allow the decision that the ECZ have collaborated with the PF to make sure that they impose themselves on the people of Zambia against the constitution of Zambia. Now today, I want to inform the nation that there are so many evil things that the PF government are planning against the people of Zambia. So that as you sit as citizens, you should know that the people that are seated there, the people who are holding on to the instrument of power, you have to know what they are planning against our lives, against your lives. So that even you who says you are non-partisan in these issues, at least one day you say, on that particular day, this person told us about this and it has come to pass. Things that are happening today, they are things that we told the country five years ago. We warned the people of Zambia before to say, these people you want to entrust with the instrument of power, with national responsibility, they are not people who you are going to rely on and you are going to depend on to say they are going to sort out the national problems. And today, we have been vindicated. We have been vindicated that whatever we said in 2015, in 2016, 2017, today is coming to pass. So, who, is, who should take the responsibility? It is we, the people of Zambia. I want to remind you, my fellow citizens, that where things they have listed, it is no longer a battle for Aka in the Ishirema. I know a lot of us have, have got so much expectation 
that akainde ichire ma should do that ichimba kambiri should do that never simumba should do that but let me inform the country that the criminals in the pdf government they have taken over the national affairs we are dealing with the hardcore criminals and we can't leave that battle when we are dealing with these people like people in pf to one individual in the name of akainde chirema to one individual in the name of never simumba to one individual in the name of, uh, in the name of chishimba kambwe this is a, an issue that should concern every citizen every zambian the patriotic front for about two years now they have the intelligence information and the outcome of 2021 general elections winning the 2021 general elections is not about next year fellow countrymen the elections was won and was lost two two or a, 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 or a year ago and what now the pf are doing they know the future that is ahead of their lives they know very well that next year they can't make it they have hired outsiders to teach them on how they are going to manipulate the elections next year they have they have done a lot of consultations and one of the consultations that they have done they have said they want to know how they can come stay in power and they, they have been told following the intelligence information that they can't win the 2021 elections and the only way that they could do that is abuse the institutions which is one of them is the electoral commission of zambia that institution you should do, we the people of zambia should not expect any credible elections next year as long as whatever they are doing now they have resolved to do to say they are going to delete the old register let us forget about a credible elections next year let us forget about that as long as we are going just to say let them continue with that old register and delete it come up with their own if, if, if i ask you today fellow countrymen are you aware that the pf they have continued to continue issuing nrcs in regions that were meant to be given nrcs in, in phase one Steven Kampiong, Patrick Shindano, and the entire ECZ, they have been told already what to do. They have been told that even whatever they are doing right now in this phase one, this online uh, voters registration, there is nothing that you are going to do because they have made a system whereby when you are done with the online registration, of which is already is not enough, during verification, for stronghold of the opposition there are going to be another issue of irregularities and you are going to see another big number of people going to be affected and do not vote this has been sanctioned by who by Eddie Garungu and when he tells you that he, he is going to rule Zambia whether we like it or not then he turns the following day to say no i'm not saying that I'm going to respect the constitution of Zambia. I advise the people of Zambia that you should do take his first words serious. What rigging mechanism have they put in? Number 1, deleting the old register. According to the intelligence information that we have with us, Sati, they know very well that maintaining the old register it is a disaster to them. And this is how they have been advised that the best they can ever do to delete the old register and come up with a new register that they are going to monitor, of which right now they are monitoring all the activities. The opposition, all stakeholders, they have not been given an opportunity to see how the registration process is going on. The opposition doesn't have not even the servers. They doesn't know what is going on there. The information that citizens are submitting there you don't know how they are backing it up the rigging has, is, has reached an advanced level and it needs every zambian not only the few individuals the opposition leaders 
where we are, it is about each and every person to come in, uh, you as a Zambian, to say, this is my country. What do I want for Zambia? What type of a Zambia do we want for the next five years? Do we want a Zambia where the opposite, where criminals shall be the one to govern the country? And the citizens who are supposed to take charge in manning the, uh, the affairs of the, nation, the country are going to be criminals. Right now, the PF government, they have put institutions, measures, to say Haka and HLMA should not come out of the house. For your own information, don't you think that they have stopped the plans to arrest Haka and HLMA? Just this week, people who are working in the state house, people who are working in ECZ, they are the ones who have given us this information to tell you the people of Zambia so that you make a decisive decision for the future of our country. People who are working in ECZ, they have told us that don't allow PF to delete the old register. Should we Zambians allow PF to delete the old register, then we are done. PF have given the mandate, the authority for issuance of analysis to, the, to, the, to their cadres. They have hijacked the whole system. And how can we sit to say we are going to have a credible elections? Come on, fellow citizens. This is the high time that we have to demand for what is due for the country. This is the high time that we should remind Esa Ochuru, Shindano Patrick, Emery Sikazwe. You people, you are a disgrace to our country. You are a disgrace to our country because you are simply inciting trouble for the country. You are supposed to save the interests of the people of Zambia. These people, they are collaborating with the PF government. Whatever you are seeing ECZ is doing, the PF government are the one who are telling them, can you do this, can you do that? And the best that the people of Zambia could ever do at this point in time is to demand that we should do away with the current electoral commission of Zambia and have a new team that will, will, will have people from all you know, key institutions, stakeholders. We need an electoral commission that will involve the opposition, that will involve the church to monitor the 2020, uh, 2021 general elections. Should we allow the current executive of the Electoral Commission of Zambia, let us just prepare that there is nothing that we are going to do as a country. We are just going into a mess. Because come 2021, PF cadres who have been armed, who have been given guns, they are busy training militias. And yesterday, Mr. Ed Garungu is not here a man who's, who can be ashamed sometimes. He goes to tell the United Nations to say he has put, you know, anti-terrorism mechanism, whatever, to fight terrorism in Zambia. How can he fight terrorism when he's funding terrorism? Just this week, the patriotic front, because they are evil people, they wanted to go and kill the people of Southern Province. A very shameful government, heartless human beings, planning evil against the innocent citizens. And we had to expose them because we are given the information that they are going to, they have hired the thugs that will attack Edgar Rungu in Southern Province and get all that blame, put it on, it on a high in the arrest him and shoot the people of Southern Province. These are serious schemes that I want you, the people of Zambia, to sit down and begin to think whether this is the government that we really want to continue presiding over our country. People who can sit without shame to plan such evil against their fellow human beings just to benefit politically.
we have all the information. People in the system, they told us that this is what they are going to do. And you saw, after we exposed them, they had to cancel the trip. And we thank the people of Southern Province for paying particular attention and we are urging the people of Southern Province and the other immarked regions to be very extra careful. You see the PF government, you see Ed Garungu coming to these regions that they have remarked as their number one target that they want to fight for no apparent reason, only for political benefits. Stay away. Stay away to shame the devil. You stay away. We know that they are determined. We know. We know very well. And I'm appealing to our traditional leaders in this region that the PF has marked. That can you monitor? We have information that right now, those military weapons that Edgar Lungu procured, a larger portion has been assigned to go to Southern Province. Southern Province, Western Province, Northwestern Province, Lusaka, Central, Copper Belt. And you know when they are planning to do that. I'm urging our traditional leaders in these regions to monitor. And when they begin to bring these weapons, ask them that what is the problem? Why are you bringing these weapons here? The PF today, they have adopted an agenda, another rigging scheme. We know that in 21, they know that they are not going to survive in 21. And the issue that they are doing now is to how are they going to divide the country? We know there is a scheme that the PF has launched to bring a tribal war between the Tongas and the Bembas. After realizing that even the members are suffering, they want development, they want a change of government. The PF, they have sat down and they have said, we'll go to the member and, and tell them that Hakain de is going to kill you if you vote for him. So that the time when it comes in 2021, they want to exclude the member from defending their country. They want to make it that it will be a tribe war. These are the things that your government, PF, is planning against the people of Zambia. This is why this issue I'm saying it's no longer an issue that we can leave to individuals, opposition leaders. It is an issue that has to do with the interest of all concerned citizens. As long as you are a Zambian who cares about the future of our country, you have to do something. You have to come on board. Our country is under serious threat. On several occasions, I've asked Mr. Edgar Rungu that, why did you purchase those weapons? For who? For what? Do we have any security threat in the region? The answer is no. But I'm telling you today, the people of Zambia, that he purchased those weapons for you and me. And one thing that we should remember as Zambians that he, War doesn't choose who to affect. And why should we allow PF to do this to our country? Few individuals, even you, our brothers in these security institutions, who they are using to terrorize your own citizens, your fellow citizens, your own brothers, your own mothers, you have to think it twice. Because what this massive destruction that they are planning for 2021, it is a disaster. They are rigging the elections right now. Zambians, we, we have to defend the constitution of Zambia, the country. And how are we going to defend that? Number one, let us demand that no one should delete the old register for voters. Number two, we should demand that the issuance of analysis should be extended, actually be given enough period than the way it has been before. Because there are genuine reasons. Number one, we are looking at the pandemic, the restrictions of the COVID-19. Fellow countrymen and women, does it make sense? In 2016, when we did the voters' registration, it took us more than 
three months. When we never had the pandemic, when we never had the other economical issues. But today with the COVID-19, Edgar Lung and PF, they wake up, they delete the old register, and it tells you that they are going to register new voters in 20 days. Can't we open our eyes and see that there's something wrong here? The elections are being rigged. Winning the elections is not about next year. Next year is just for formality. What is going on right now determines the future of Zambia. And it's up to us as citizens to allow the nonsense to go on or not. We have to stand strong and say Zambia belongs to the Zambians and not to PF. PF cadres have been armed. Others have been taken in the Congo side. They are training militias there. And these are the people who are going to come back next year. Even if you register whatever you are going to register, they are going to come back and take over the polling stations, taking, taking over all totaling centers, and they will take over the servers from, like they did in 2016. Right now, as Zambians, we need to demand for sanity in these institutions. We need to demand for a proper you know, electoral commission of Zambia to be formed. We have credible men of God who can assist the country in this you know, situation that we are in. But we have left this issue for politicians. When the PF government killed Grezia Matapa, you, the people of Zambia, you left it to the opposition, the UPND, to talk about it. You said you are non-partisan. They went and killed you, the people of Zambia, you left it to the opposition, UPND, and a few individuals, concerned the citizens, they talked. You said you are non-partisan. They killed Mukonga, Maresu. They killed Vespas. They killed the Zafu officer. And they have been killing Zambians. They have been torturing Zambians. You are still saying you are non-partisan. Innocent Zambians are in prisons today, like Honorable Patrick Muchereka and the others. You are still saying you are non partisan. What have they done now? They have gone to buy equipment. 35 millimeter. They have got no eyes and they are going to deal with each and everyone, including you who are non partisan. That's a benefit of allowing injustice to grow in a country. That's the at the end of the day, whether we like it or not, we are all going to suffer. Because we thought all these criminal activity that they have been committing, it is a battle for the opposition. It's not a battle for the opposition, it's a battle for all Zambians. Defending the interests of our country, it is a business for all Zambians. Our forefathers fought for this country. We lost lives. But why should we continue losing lives today? Because of an individual, another dictator who was, who was born in the name of Edgar Lung. We need to think Zambians. We need to do something. We need to be proactive and save the interests of our country. There is no election that we, are, we should talk about as long as we, we allow Shindano Patrick, Esa Ochuru, Emery Sikazwe and the team to continue what they are doing with ECZ. And I'm reminding those people that can you think it twice unless you are telling me that this trouble that you are inviting for a country, you have ferried your relatives away outside Zambia. But if you are normal human beings, People who think for the well-being of the country and people who go to church, you know God, you play. Um, I'm talking to Esa Ochuru, Patrick Shindan, Stephen Kampiongo, Mr. Ed Garungu. You people, because of money, why do you want to shed blood in the country? Because of power, why? Is this what the people of Zambia, they deserve at the end of the day? for allowing you people to manage the country. I don't think that's the answer.
the people of Zambia they expect development our country it is now that we are going to determine its future or we should forget about it we have seen the budget for 2021 who is largely funded the defense these are the issues that we are talking about in a country where our health care is very pathetic we are funding we are buying guns for who that's the question that we the people of Zambia should be asking ourselves in a country where we have people who were terrorizing the entire country as gassers a, a president wakes up to say he is forming a commission of inquiry to arrest akainde chirema for privatization issues instead of looking into a serious matter that is threatening the security of our country and when we say they are the gassers then they are saying they are not we are accusing them we are not accusing them if he, PF is serious today. Let them call the international community. During the gassing, Edgar Lungu failed to appeal to the United Nations as a president to say we need money power. We we don't have equipment to trace the people behind the gassing. I wrote to the United Nations on behalf of the people of Zambia requesting for their intervention. And yesterday Edgar Lungu he had the gut, he had the energy to tell the United Nations to say no. Um he's fighting terrorism. Let him tell the United Nations how his name is amongst the people, the presidents in Africa who are funding rebels in Rwanda. Let him tell the United Nations about that. Our country is not safe, fellow countrymen. Our country is not safe. PF has come with, up with all sorts of schemes. Their plans to arrest Akainde Chirema they are not jokes. They are serious about it. And this is another thing that I would love to to to, to advise especially people from the UPND and the opposition. Akainde Chirema will not be given a platform for own information to campaign in the 2021 general elections forget about that so it's about the other leaders to take the mantle to make sure that you you in the you go and market him to the people of Zambia they have resolved about that they are not going to allow him to go and campaign this is a pf and let us forget about no institution there is no court in Zambia today that is going to rule against such issues they have taken over the electoral commission of Zambia the electoral commission of Zambia has got the power to discipline anyone who causes trouble during an election but look what they did in Mansa PF we have veiled the information i have veiled i published the names of the person and even even the address where that person who 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 incited who was managing the destruction of the UPND uh, vehicle we published it it's in the public domain but have you seen the police moving in they can't because the orders are coming from state house so they will not stop you know preventing the opposition to go and campaign so it's about this is why these issues they are outside the hands of the opposition alone it's about the people of zambia to decide otherwise these are critical issues that we should forget about there is no institution madam irene mambilima she has sold her soul to the devil she has lost her integrity instead of defending the, the the justice system in our country she's she has succumbed to the devil we thought some of our women are going to occupy such positions to serve the interests of the country as as mothers but the opposite is happening there is no election that zambia is going to have as long as what the pf have resolved to is going to be allowed let us forget about that the pf government just as i've said the pf government they are funding militia they are planning to fight who the people of zambia after losing the 2021 general election that's the reason why they have procured those equipment the decision is about the people of zambia 
to decide. It's about the people of Zambia to decide right now because the elections is not going to be won next year. The elections will be won right now. What we are going to allow from now up to December determines where the future of Zambia will be. I've told you, don't say no. Why didn't you inform the country? I've informed you, Zambians. It's the decision, it's up to you to make a decision. Some of us, in our own limited capacity, we are going to do whatever we will manage to save the interests of the country, to save the interests of the, of the future generations, just like we have done before. But what I'm reminding you that if we are going to leave this to the opposition to say, let them fight this battle, let us forget about Zambia. PF are criminals who don't want to see other Zambians to exercise their democratic rights, who doesn't want other Zambians to exercise their constitutional rights to, to cast a vote, to vote for the government of their choice. That's the, the PF that we, you have there. Those are the people that you are seeing who calls themselves more Christian than others. They sit down to plan such evil things. They have armed themselves. They have armed their cadres. They have taken over institutions that are supposed to protect the people of Zambia. If the MMD behaved the way PF is behaving today, the PF, PF wouldn't have formed the government in 2011. But they have forgotten. They have forgotten. We, the people of Zambia, it's the high time that we should do, say this is enough and we want to restore our country. We need to restore Zambia. We need to get Zambia out, out of the jaws of the crocodiles. This information we have delivered it to you. Don't say you don't know what is going on. Your government, PF, they are planning to fight the people of Zambia. Because why? Because they know that they have lost the elections. They lost the elections a long time ago. Right now, they are using institutions to fix their future. Our country, they have sold our country. Halfway of our country is gone. Some of these people are giving them the money to be buying those weapons. They are getting our resources in exchange. So those are the people who are governing Zambia. And it's up to the people of Zambia to decide. Some of you have been asking me, what is the international community doing about this crisis in Zambia? I want to reverse this question to you that you as a Zambian, what are you doing first? Because you don't expect someone who is in Europe, someone who is in America, an American, to come and solve your problems, to come and wake you from sleeping to say, now can you wake up and solve, solve your problem? The international community, they will not come on board if we, the people of Zambia, feel comfortable with what Eddie Galung and PF are doing. It's our responsibility to demonstrate to the world that we really need the sanity in our country. And if we don't do that, let us not say, what is the international community doing? When Edgar Lung and PF, they didn't want to provide leadership for gassing. Some of us, we, we, we wrote the United Nations. But imagine if one million Zambians were to write to, at, at the same time to the United Nations, demanding for them to come in. They could have taken a serious decision. But some of you are saying, you are calling yourself a non-partisan. Let us sit and keep swimming in non-partisan. And you are going to see where these people are going to land us, or you know, the, the entire the entire country. Today, the world has been is being shaped by politics. If you have got the criminals in in governance, you know, systems, then you are done as a country. All these good countries that we are admiring today is because they have invested in good leadership. There is no magic about it. Absolutely no magic about it. But we Zambians, we are keeping on investing in stupidity, allowing criminality to become the order of the day. We are taking it as something which is normal. People are stealing public resources. They don't want to be held accountable. People, they are being killed. They don't want to be held accountable. Human rights violations in our country. 
And this is why some of us, we have taken a serious step. Every day, we are appealing to the international community, of which I hope that even you, my fellow country, whenever you are, you can take this responsibility. You can petition as an individual, as a team, as a group. I'm telling you, if you can, we can save the United Nations with one million letters, demanding that we don't want what Ed Garung is doing. The international community will sit down and will look into our case. Don't think that they are not aware. They are very much aware. But they look at what we, the people of Zambia, are doing. Are we showing interest that our country is in trouble? Only a few individuals, and mostly are politicians. What about we, the majority? You, the people in the civil service, are you aware that with the condition that the cadres they have given now to PF, they are saying they run the battles, and when they win the elections, they are not taken care of. Next year, if you civil servants, you see PF coming back to power, expect the cadres to take over your positions. They have petitioned. Expect them to take over your position and your education will be rendered something useless in Zambia. Just like we are saying now. It is about we the people of Zambia taking responsibility. This is our country. It's not anybody's country. And when all of us we rise up and we, we, we talk about these issues. It was just this year in March when I said it would be suicidal for us to sit down and go with the, the same ECZ, the same Zambia policy, the same judiciary into 2021 general elections. It is not just, it is before the end of the year. There you go. You have seen how they are playing with the, with the voters' registration. These are the issues that we have been talking about. These are issues that yeah, opposition political parties have been talking about. Honorable Patrick Mutsereka there, he's not a criminal with his team. Criminals are those at ECZ. They are those that are manning, those people who are manning these institutions. Those are the criminals who should have been in prisons today if we, the people of Zambia, are serious. Some of them, where they are seated there, they committed uh, treason by abrogating the constitution of Zambia, by refusing to surrender instrument of power. But innocent citizens Honorable Mutereka is wallowing in prison there. Co crime committed is to go and exercise his democratic rights. And Zambians, we are watching. We say because they are not, they, it's, not it's them, let them be in prison. They are coming. They are coming. They are coming. Once they are done with us who have been denouncing their criminal activities, they are coming for you. And you shall also sing the song that we have been singing that these people are bad people. But unfortunately, we are going to sing it in a very bad way. The issue of promoting division in the country, it is a well calculated move that I age my family from the east, the northern, to be very extra careful. It's a PF calculated move. To them, their strategy, they are saying, if in 2021 they are to fight the country, they want the other part of the country to be on their side so that they battle with the other, their perceived enemies. So when you see them going into the northern block where they have never taken any development to go and preach about tribalism, they are trying to insert the message in my brothers and sisters from the northern block that hate these people from other regions so that they have space to do their criminal activities. As simple as that, that is PF, that's what they are doing and that's their agenda. They have adopted that agenda, it is one of their plannings. So that's the Zambia that we have today. In Marawi, they managed to overcome the malpractices because they had a responsible judiciary. In Zambia, we don't have a responsible judiciary. Citizens, they participated. But in Zambia, you tell us that you are non-partisan. But when the economy has been grounded to where it is today, we don't know where you go and buy your stuff. 
otherwise that's what i can say for today and uh, following all these issues in the interest of the zambian people i want to inform the country that uh, as a concerned citizen a defender of good governance and human rights in my own capacity I'm going to take a decisive decision against the people the, the PF government. I'm taking a decisive decision to ensure that the constitution of Zambia is protected when I'll communicate to the country. Because I feel the pain. I believe in Zambia. That is Zambia is a great country. And it needs the best leadership. I'm still appealing to each one of you to sit down before you go to bed. Think about Zambia. What type of a Zambia do you want after 2021? Do you want a divided Zambia? Do you want a Zambia that is going to be governed by criminals? Do you want a Zambia that is going to be to be torn apart? A Zambia where corruption will be the order of the day. A Zambia where human rights violations will be the order of the day. Where public institutions will be manned by cadres and criminals. The choice is yours as a citizen. Do your part. I do my part. We do our part. Together we can save Zambia. Together, we can liberate Zambia as united citizens. May the Almighty God bless each one of you. Thank you.